Hello, everybody. My name is uh, Ricardo Dal Ballo, and I'm speaking from the University Hospital Zurich in Switzerland. Today, I will show you how to create and run very simple scripts in Eclipse, or also called SAPI scripts, to access and, if you wish, also modify data that you have uh, in Eclipse. In principle, for what I'm showing today, all you need is a text editor but uh, this can be much more complex and uh, you might want to use uh, some applications like uh, Visual Studio, for example. Um, you see already in the background that I have uh, Eclipse open. I will move myself around. And the first thing that you might want to uh, have a look at are the um, Eclipse scripting online help where you can find a lot of use, useful information regarding the, um, re regarding the structure of the data in the Eclipse libraries. For example, um, if I just search here for context, this is something we will use, um, you can access the class context, which is what the user has open on his page, and for example, uh, you see you can access uh, information regarding the patient. But let's get to the action. And uh, what I want to show you is how to extract some uh, um, parameters from uh, a VMAP plan. And in particular, we want to extract uh, the length that the uh, MLCs travel during the delivery. So we start with some uh, imports of uh, libraries. And uh, this uh, VMS that you see here are the um, variant libraries that we will use. Uh, this is a very short script, so I will just navig navigate through the single steps. And um, the first thing that we want to do is to access the plan. So we uh, have this variable called the selected plan, which is uh, in the class uh, plan setup. And as I was telling you, uh, we want to use this context, which is what the user sees in the, uh, in the Eclipse uh, view once uh, it ex executes the script. And we just extract the, uh, the plan. Then the plan contains a certain number of beams. And uh, this is in a form of an array. And therefore, from the selected plan, we just extract the beams. We might loop over through the beam, all the beams, but in this simple example, we will just take the first one. So uh, I will just uh, uh, take the first one in the, in the array, so the one with index zero. And then um, what we want to do is basically extract the overall travel of the leaves. So the leaves will travel back and forth while delivering the VMAP plan and they will have a total travel length. So I just define this variable that uh, I will initialize to zero. And then we have to loop over the so-called control points. At each control point, each leaf will have a specific position. So we extract the control points from the beam, the first beam in our plan that you have just seen. And then we loop over the control points. So this is just a very simple loop, uh, a for loop. Uh, um, where we just uh, have the total number of control points, which is given by this control points dot count. And then for every leaf, we basically have a movement that is defined by the position of the leaf in the old control point and the position of the same leaf in the new control point. So we'll just have a look at the temporary control point new and temporary control point old which is uh, um, just extracting the control point from the list. And then since I have the, uh, the leaves, I just loop over all the leaves and I just do a difference. Uh, as you see here for bank B uh, and then the next line for bank A, um, and I just sum the, uh, the difference of the position just create some string output and a message to produce some output. And in order to execute the script, I have here a, a test plan. And I can just go to scripts and point to my folder and run the code. And you will see here the overall leaf travel in the Hope this was useful, and I will share the script with you.